What's going on there? Guys, we back with another one. And we got to talk about this Stephen A. Smith, Zion Williamson, and Jalen Rose seemingly responding to Stephen A. Smith. Over the last few days, we've seen the New Orleans Pelicans and Stephen A. Smith trade words, you know, and we saw Antonio Daniels, who works for the New Orleans Pelicans, have something to say about Stephen A. Smith when he went on first take and he said this about Zion. Zion Williamson, it's not about his game. It's about how many burgers he's eating and whether or not he's going to be in shape or is he going to keep eating McDonald's and have chefs clamoring for him to come to their restaurants. That's what he has to prove, that the chefs don't love him any longer, okay? That he's committed to playing basketball and being in shape. Outside of that, you look at New Orleans and you say to yourself, okay, they can have a chance, but you don't know about it. I now, that statement was unnecessary at this point in the season considering the fact that the Pelicans have won eight of their last 10, eight of their last nine at the time that he had said it. The New Orleans Pelicans went and they put up a photograph of Stephen A. Smith with a graphic showing that he averaged 1.5 points a game. Stephen A. Smith responded, less, can't score when you can't play due to a devastating knee injury. That's my fact. Now, what's y'all excuse for never winning anything? Can't wait to see y'all in April, May, and June. We won't even go there. Good luck. Tell my boys, Coach Green and CJ, I'm always rooting for them. So he's talking about that this team, you know, the fact they've never won anything. And so they posted this video about Stephen A. Smith. Now, this man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. So Jalen Rose took to Twitter tonight and he said, I'm so happy that I didn't sell out a clout chase while using views, subscriptions, and funds I made in the process as validation with a bunch of laughing emojis. And you have people in the comment section telling him to put a name on that. He follows that tweet up with, Dear athletes, media folks gonna trash you for fame. Get paid, then apologize when the check clears. Now, while he didn't explicitly say Stephen A. Smith's name, it's an interesting time considering the fact that the hot topic right now is Stephen A. Smith targeting Zion Williamson's weight, you know, talking about cheeseburgers and all this stuff with the chefs down in New Orleans and all that. I mean, it is a conversation to be had about that. But right now, Zion is in the most consistent part of his NBA career as far as availability and productivity equating to wins and getting the Pelicans in better playoff positioning. So, Jalen Rose took that shot, man. I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments section. Do you think Jalen Rose was talking to Stephen A. Smith? Because right now I can't think of anyone else. He kind of said something like this before, and he said it wasn't his boy Stephen A. Smith. Obviously, he was still working at ESPN at the time, but now he's able to voice his opinions and say how he truly feels. Do you feel like this is Molly Caram motivated with the way her and Stephen A. are on television? You know, does he still have some feelings about how they used to uh, mingle with each other as co-workers? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.